Who are you? What do you want? What kind of person do you want to be? And then do you really know yourself, your deepest corners, your limits? Are you aware of the things you'll never reach, the roles you'll never play, the fact that you're here today and in a few moments you might not be? You're probably wondering if this is the right video, if this is a provocation, if I'm trolling or simply trying to seem original with all these question marks. Well, my friend, that's not it, because this has everything to do with your operating system. It matters if you want to simply remain a passive consumer, turn on the computer and use it, or if you want to be something else. And this is a crucial moment in the video, because if your answer is the first one, well, it's time to switch videos and move to another channel. Because today I want to go deep. Not into the deepest technicalities. It's not about technicalities, but about what kind of people we are, what we want to give, and who we want to be. They've filled YouTube with thousands of videos talking about thousands of Linux distributions. They've created free and paid courses to learn. Yes, I'm guilty too. This is the logic of the algorithm, the market, the views. But my first authentic and original video was precisely about Slackware. So nobody can accuse me of inconsistency or riding some wave like a content creator begging for likes and subscriptions. Here, we do something different. We try to look at things up close, face to face, and say things that nobody says and nobody tries to say. You've tried all the distributions. You want LTS, you want Stable, you want Arch, you want Ubuntu, you want Mint. But the reality is you don't want anything. What you're really missing is knowing the system truly in depth, then the distributions will come after, whatever they may be. Yes, some apologists will tell me then, build your system from scratch with Linux from scratch. And I answer that here, we're talking about usable distributions. And if you wanna learn Linux, really understand it and come out ahead after a few months, knowing you've saved years wandering through semi-serious videos by equally semi-credible YouTubers, then listen. This video is not for the faint of heart, but maybe it's not what you think. It doesn't matter if you've never installed Linux. It doesn't matter if you're 80 years old. It doesn't matter if you think you're not capable. These are just excuses. Excuses you give first to yourself and then to others. The only thing that matters is, do you want to understand it or not? Because after this, there will be no more guides to follow. You'll be the one creating the guides. And so here it is your choice. What do you want to be, sheep or lion, leader or follower, actor or spectator? Do you want to keep waiting for someone to explain everything to you step by step, a book maybe, a course, an exceptional person? Do you still want to postpone? The truth is, that is you. And that 1.5 kilogram organ between your ears, don't you understand that you only need three things, awareness, willpower, the right tools, and the best tool is Slackware. Slackware is a distribution that has existed for over 30 years. Its creator is a living legend. Its users are a small community of competent people who don't care about saying it around. Users who truly love operating systems in the deepest sense of the term. But I'm not one of them. I installed Linux for the first time in 2000 with floppy disks, precisely with Slackware. Then I moved to Debian. Today I use Void for a year. And I believe several more years will have to pass before I can call myself a true Slackware user. Because Slackware is not used. It is mastered. The person who introduced me to Linux was a pioneer. One of the first to install this operating system in the early 90s. And he asked me more or less the same questions I asked you before. He made me reflect on control. On personal freedom and choice. On my self-determination as an individual and my capabilities before telling me that linux was secure customizable and damn beautiful to use he handed me only the floppy disks pointed me to the documentation and told me that i had to choose understand and never let anyone else choose and understand for me this is the best way to learn the choice the choice of having to learn knowing that nobody will teach it to us slackware was simply a pedagogical tool but as a distribution, it respects you, it believes in you, in your abilities, in your freedom of choice. It gives you the tools and puts everything in front of you without filters. And after Slackware, you can say, I can read a script, I can manipulate system logs, I can change the boot order, I can start services, I can import security rules, I can compile programs, I can really use the terminal. Now tell me, do you understand the difference? 
Or are you still convinced that Slackware is difficult just because someone doesn't know how to use FDisk? The word difficult doesn't exist. And I paraphrase one of the greatest athletes of all time. Impossible is nothing. Put yourself out there, really, once and for all, and don't choose the easiest path. Choose the richest path. The one that perhaps, truly, will take you where you want to go. Installing Slackware is child's play. Do you want me to repeat that? Installing Slackware is child's play. Come on. It's not about reading thousands of guides, thousands of tutorials that tell you what to do step by step, second by second, but the reality is you don't even focus on reading what's written, on understanding the meaning. You follow the instructions like an automaton, click after click, command after command, and then there it is, your system, already waiting for you. Aren't you tired of all this? I want to open the path to understanding for you. I want to make you grow. Can you understand that what I'm proposing is very different from a super mega guide to install Linux and be happy forever? Nobody can promise you happiness, and whoever does is deceiving you. I promise you black screens, systems to reinstall, updates gone wrong, audio that doesn't work. Yes, I promise you all of this. And this is what's worth facing. Because on the other side, there's something real. Not a rabbit hidden in a barn, but someone who knows what they're doing. This is my answer to all the emails I receive about how to learn Linux and which distribution to use. You want to know what I really think? Here it is. You want to learn Linux, install Slackware, try it, reinstall, read documentation, understand it. If you were expecting the guide on how to create the swap partition or which daemons to select at startup, you misunderstood. You have to do the work. Don't find a tutorial. Find the sources and start reading them, understanding them applying them. So here it is, my $777 course on how to install Linux and really understand it. Install it, then try to understand it. That's all. And if you want to do it seriously, do it with Slackware. Any distribution can be a good foundation, but I remember that in school they wouldn't let me use a calculator, and I wondered why I had to study Latin and Greek, dead languages. The answer is simple. Latin and Greek are fundamental to understanding the world, its dynamics, its deepest essences. They are the foundations of the very way we think and imagine the world, the building blocks on which we have built our very existences as a community, as a civilization, as individuals. And even if we walk on layers of plastic and hamburgers and French fries and all-you-can-eat restaurants, this doesn't mean they are not still determinant. Slackware is the best distribution for learning Linux because it forces you to come into direct contact with the system, without intermediaries and without layers of abstraction that hide what's happening. You can see this from the installer itself. During installation, there's nothing done for convenience or because it usually works. The partitioning is done by you. The file systems are chosen by you. The mount points are decided by you. And the software that enters the system is selected by you. There's no guided flow that holds your hand because the installation itself is part of the learning process. Already in this phase, you begin to understand the real relationship between disk, file system, boot, and operating system. The same goes for package management. Slackware uses simple, transparent packages that don't try to do magic. A package is an archive that installs files in precise paths, nothing more. With Slack PKG, there's no automatic dependency resolution. Not because Slackware is backwards, but because dependencies are a concept you need to learn to know. When you install a program, you know what you're installing, you know what's missing, and you know why it's missing. Updates work the same way. On Slackware, there are no silent updates that rewrite configuration files without telling you. When a file changes, you see it, you compare it, you decide whether to keep yours or adopt the new one. This teaches you that updating a system is not a passive operation, but a conscious technical choice, and it makes you understand how the system evolves over time. Then there's service management, which is one of the most important points. In Slackware, services are not abstract entities managed by a complex framework. They are simply readable and modifiable startup scripts. A service starts if you make it executable. It doesn't start if you don't. There's nothing hidden. There's nothing decided for you. This allows you to really understand what happens at system startup, in what order things start, and why. 
and it finally makes you comprehend what it really means to manage a service. Finally, there are the configuration files. Slackware doesn't continuously regenerate them, doesn't overwrite them, doesn't hide them behind graphical tools. They are text files. They stay there, and you are the one who modifies them. The central point is that Slackware is not difficult. Slackware is direct. It doesn't protect you from error, but puts you in a position to understand it, and that's why it's the best distribution for learning how a Linux system really works. Precisely because it's one of the first distributions, precisely because it was designed to be simple and manageable, precisely because it's built on a KISS logic, Slackware represents the skeleton of all Linux distributions. No abstractions, no additional layers, nothing else. Just a distribution of software that runs services through the Linux kernel. And through this type of experience, you reach a level of knowledge and mastery unattainable from courses or tutorials or magical videos. Slackware is mental gymnastics. It's training, like math homework done at home in school. Not because you'll always use that formula, but because it builds your mind to face problems you don't know yet. This is why Slackware, not because it's the best distro, not because it's pure, but because it's a solid foundation for learning. After Slackware, any other distribution becomes understandable. Before Slackware, many distributions are just conveniences you use without really understanding them. Slackware doesn't promise you happiness, it promises you awareness and that yes stays with you forever. So have you chosen? $777. See you in the next video and may Linux be with you.